All right. So continuing down this path of dimensions, we've all inherited those drawings from other drafters. And again, certainly not anyone in this audience, but from other drafters who have fixed, and I say fixed in air quotes, the dimensions in a drawing by overriding their values. Of course, they weren't consistent in this. They only did it for some of the dimensions, not all. And so now there's this sort of great paradoxal mystery of which dimensions are overridden and which ones are actually accurate. And how can I fix that? So if we jump into AutoCAD, we can fix this pretty easily with a dimension reassociate command. Now, this is unfortunately very similar to the actual dimension reassociate command. So this is the dim reassoc, not the dim reassociate command. So what I'm talking about is there is a dimension reassociate command here on the annotate tab under dimensions. And right here, this little item or icon here with the little, looks like a piece of chain right there, there is a dim reassociate command. This is not the command that we want. Instead, the command that we want to fix these dimensions is located over here on the express tools tab. And here under dimension, we have a tool here called reset text. And if you look at the cue card that pops up there, you can see that its command is dim reassoc, not associate. Now, the magic of this tool is if we go ahead and click on this guy, I can go ahead and pick on my dimensions and it's just going to filter dimensions. So you can don't have to be super precise with your selection here. And it's going to filter out just the dimensions that were overridden. So notice that it did not select this dimension here because it's reading the actual measured value. However, if we, however, if we take a look at this one here, it selected these two dimensions because those have been overridden, which makes sense because if I look right here, it says 14 feet and eight plus eight does not equal 14. Seven plus seven does. So running this command, I selected those dimensions. I'll just hit enter. And just like that, it has updated those dimensions to be the real value like so. Super awesome, right? 